Howdy, 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 everybody. I am Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon! Ah, yes, last time we we saw the success of a new game that I'm hoping to turn into a franchise, Sans OMG. Uh, what will happen with us this time? Let's find out. Um, let's see, I have 257k. I say let's develop a new game. Uh, topic. Um... Yeah, if this is your first time watching this particular series with me, um, yeah, I was inspired by Jack Sapta guy who, who was like, you know what, you know, he, he did it and it's like, well, you know what, it, it is kind of a viable thing. It could be, it could work. So, um, but anyways, now I'm doing it and he's doing it blind. I've been through it a time or two. Um, ooh, sci-fi. Yes, please. Let's do the research on the Wi-Fi and the sci-fi. The Wi-Fi? <laughs> oh. Ah. So, yes. We're gonna get something in there. Okay. Good. You researched sci-fi. So, let's develop a new game with sci-fi. Okay. Genre. Uh, sci-fi action. Which they say is a great combo. Ah. Uh, what shall we call it? What shall we call it? Let's see. Uh, line of sight. Um. Uh, laptop. Laptop invaders. There we go. Okay, pick a platform for it. Um, there we go. Action seems to do well on the TES. The booze engine. Because of course I do. The cost is 60k. Okay. Uh, 2D graphics. Yes. Oh wait. Okay. What do we have? Uh, engine. Up there. Uh, everything else seems to be okay. I want linear story and a save game. Oh! Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. I love the games that come with the TES and playing over the controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard. Yeah, it can be. <laughs> oh, we got bugs out the whack out the ass though. Oof. Okay. Uh, I can keep all these at the same level. Ah, uh, okay. And what do you have? World design, graphics, sound. Yeah, we're we're good there. Laptop invaders. <laughs> ah. Okay, get rid of the bugs. Six, five. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Oh, a design. Yay. Oh, new record. Ah, oh, yeah. Hey, leveled up my 2D graphics. Yay. Okay. Okay, give it a second, and we'll get... We'll go ahead and generate a game report while they're bringing in the reviews. Okay. Oh. Very good. Eight! Oh! Eight, eight, seven. Eight. Game Hero thinks it was too much water. <laughs> so let's see. How many? Oh, my God. 14. Oh, nice. Graphics seems to be very important for this type of game. Okay. Um, can I research anything yet? Can I research anything new? Um, let's see. Mono sound. I'll research that real quick. Get it out of the way. Holy shit. We're doing well. Increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Some are more popular with younger, while others cater for the mature age. Basically what it means, we're going to research target audience soon. Ah. Surprise hit. Oh, yeah. The developer Lampic and Lampic is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Uh, we're kind of undertailing it here. <laughs> Going through again and again. Oh, there we go. Mono sound. Um... Also research target audience. Do I have enough? I don't have enough yet. That's okay. Um, can I make a game engine? Create a custom engine. Okay, game engine number two. Um, mono booze. Mono booze. Because I'm adding mono sound. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it'll add to my... Oh! 50k units sold. Nice! Yay, it does generate research points. Good. Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console of their own. Oh, Sega. Ah. Uh, come on. Come on. 
There we go. So much. So much going into this game engine. <laughs> oh, wow. This is doing well. Ah! Mono booze is now complete. And can I research? Can I research target audience? 15 RP. Yes, please. I'm going to do that before I do my next one. Oh, wow. That's not bad. That's not bad. Not bad in terms of sales there. Ah. Uh, right now I'm researching. Researching. The Master V. Master V. For Violet, Viola, Valerie. And Master Nintendo. I don't know. But I've got target audience research now. Let's develop a new game. Okay. Topic. Sci-fi. Um, I can't, I don't have casual. Damn. I need to look into that at some point. Um, um well, I've, I've done sci-fi. I, I need to do a different genre. Um, superheroes. Action. So the action superhero game called, um, line of sight thing. Um, let's see. Um, 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 um. Saucy knife. Saucy knife. Like I said, it's it's line of sight thinking here. But this seems to be a great combo. Okay. Platform. Oh. Ooh. Hmm. Everyone seems to work. We're going to use the booze. And, oh, wait. No, 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 no. Mono booze. Okay. Mono booze. Uh, there we go. All right. Let's see. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, um, action game. I won't worry so much about those. Well, no, wait. No, I will. Oh, excuse me. Okay. What do we have? All right. Uh, keep all those the same. Nothing else can. Nothing from this new engine can do, can affect that. Hmm. Come on. Next. All right, we can do mono sounds for a little bit more, and that's okay. Um, uh, sure. Hmm. Game development. You pay at every juncture. Woo! More bugs? Get away, bugs. Go away. Three, two, one, zero. There we go. Woo! New record on the tech. Sweet! Okay. Let us release it. Okay. Damn straight. Let's see what they have to say. First reviews are in. Ah, uh, eight played it for days. All right. Very enjoyable. Okay. Shows potential. All right. All right. All right. All right. Nice experience. Okay. Let's generate this. Seven point two five overall. <laughs> How many are we gonna get? Six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, 9K. Oh, the Master V has been released. I might try that. Okay, world design, not, not very important. AI, very important. Okay. Um, while this is going on, let's develop a new game. The Master V. Yes. Um, I'm going to actually... Let's see, it's Master V. Sega was the big thing here, so... Um, um, let's see. Um, um, water. The otter. Water the otter. It's a game for everybody. Well, what's it gonna be? Um, it'll be a comedy. Um, comedy strategy game? We don't know yet. We don't know how this is gonna work. So, Water the Otter, a comedy strategy game for the Master V. Okay, what do we have? Engine, okay. Story quests, not so far down. Gameplay, I can, I can leave them here for now, I suppose. Okay. Still digging the music. The latest game by Lambic and Lambic has received very positive reviews overall. Star Games gave it an 8, saying, Played it for days! If Lambic and Lambic continues to innovate like this, they might become a new fan favorite. Yay! 
No pressure. So much pressure. <laughs> okay, uh, strategy game. I can leave it like this for now, I guess. I'll give it a shot. Because I don't think I've done this particular one yet. Not very well marketed in North America, but that will flourish in other parts of the world. Yeah, kind of like how the Master System did. Okay, come on. Um, this needs to go down a bit more. This goes back up a little bit more. World design, I'm going to leave it as is. Let's see how it works. Okay. Ooh, look at all those research points getting up there. Three, two, one, zero. No! Don't try and give me another bug, asshole. All right, let's see. Water the otter! Oh, wow. I got one time... Time and a half new experience for new topic and combo, but nothing else. Oh god, this is going to be a mediocre game, isn't it? Ah, uh, oh well. Saucy knife. Not bad. Okay. Lay it on me. Lay it on me. They shouldn't forget about... Oh fuck, I should have had world design. Shows potential. Five, six. Have seen better. Funnest stages. Ah, I should have done world design. That's okay. 5.25. Ooh. Oh, that's that's going to smart. At least it's selling. Ah, it's still selling all right, though. Comedy and strategy is a terrible combination. The graphics seems to be not very important. Platform genre match, Master V strategy, bad. Okay, we know this now. Wow! After, those, after that first week, look how bad the sales dipped. Holy fuck. Wow. Okay. I'm going to research. Um, new topic. Hacking virtual pet spy school. Ooh, spy game. Sure. I'll research a spy game. I mean, there's like like spy versus spy and spy hunter for like the old NES games. Ooh, casual games. Yes. Can I do this? Can I do this? I got I to gotta research that now. Gold of War seems to be losing market share against other PC manufacturers. Oh, yeah, the, the G64 is going away. He is going away. He's going bye-bye. Spy. Hmm. Alrighty. I also want to research casual games. 20 RP, 25K. Okay. Let's do that. Because that's going to be... That's going to probably save my bacon later on. Ooh. Wow. I'm still gaining fans somehow. This game is selling not too awful bad. It just dipped down a lot after that first week. Holy crap. Casual games. Water the otter. Water the otter. Okay. Um, let's develop a new game. A game for everyone. And we'll call it um, Strip Phone. If you're wondering where I got Strip, Listerine strips. <laughs> okay, so I have Spy. Um, actually, I haven't tried a casual one yet, so let's see. Um, let's see, how about Comedy Casual? Comedy Casual. Probably the TES will probably do okay. And then Mono Booze. For the thing. Strip phone, a comedy, a casual comedy game for the TES. <laughs> okay, engine needs to go all the way down here. Story quest down gameplay, which means goes up. Okay, big emphasis on gameplay. I mean, it's a casual game. You should be able to just pick it up and play it. <gasps> oh, the gameling! Yes! Oh, the gameling Game Boy! Could we make the next Pokemon? Who knows? Level design, okay. Dialogues, lowered. I'll lower the AI a bit, too. Okay. Yeah. Oh! Oh, bug. <clears throat> Go away, bugs. Graphics, yes! World design, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. Down here. Alright, let's try it. Strip phone, a casual comedy game. Okay. Up. Oh. Three, two, one, zero. There we go. Ooh, new record on new record, yay. 
Okay, some leveling up has been done. Oh yeah, son. All right, release. Better you. It froze up for a moment. What the hell? <laughs> okay, better user experience. 2D graphics version three and 3D graphics version one. Ooh. I'm gonna start researching. Um, 80. Oh wow. Um, better user experience. I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna research that. The game league. Okay, strip phone. Let's see what we got. What we got. What we got. What we got. Almost perfect. Ten, 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 nine. Ah! Oh, almost. So close. It's close. Oh, sales are gonna go through the roof. <gasps> Better user experience. Yes. 100k units sold, and I go to the next one, but not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. I, I want to raise a little bit more, because I know what comes next after that. 9.75, holy crap. I want to at least try and do sequels before I go to the office building, you know. Cause a storm with good reviews and excited customers. Strip Phone is one of those rare games that will set a new quality standard for future games. Lambic and Lambic has really made gaming history with Strip Phone, well done. Yeah! <laughs> oh, comedy casual, great. Dialogue seems to not be important. Great ca great match for the platform. Eh, good for the audience. That's cool. Sweet. Okay. Um. Let's see. Do I want to do anything else yet here? Not quite yet. I will, however. Uh, topic, let's go with sci-fi. Action. Um, doesn't say anything about action here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do the gameling. Uh, pick the game engine, Mono Booze, and this one is just gonna be called. Let's see, it's gonna be on the gameling, sci-fi action. Uh, name of site, um, DVD case study. Because why not? Okay. Let's develop this fucker. 2.4 million. Holy shit. Okay, we need engine to go up. Gameplay, a little higher up. Story quest could just stay down there. <laughs> I've not dealt with that all, all this whole video. You know, I, I might have. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. AI needs to go up. Bring this down a little bit more. And then dialogues. You know, I'll bring it up a bit so I can gain some experience with it, I guess. Ah! <laughs> There's also growing out. Oh, marketing. Yes. Okay. Uh, sound design, world design. Doesn't have to be as much. Okay, we're good there. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Finish. Two. One. Sip phone. 2.714 million in sales. Holy crap. Leveling up. Oh, yeah. Level editor. Okay. So, while they're doing that, um, marketing. Do I have enough? Yes, I do. Let's research some marketing. I'll do that before I move up. DVD case study. Okay. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Oh, oh. Seven. Beautiful. Love it. It's enjoyable. Okay. Okay. Played it for days! Alright. That's pretty good. I like it. Oh, we're, re we're still researching. Marketing! Aw, oh, yes, yeah, son. Okay, generate a game report for this one. DVD case study for the gameling. <laughs> oh, the Vina Gear. Oh. Also has a full color screen. Eh, it'll give the gameling a little bit of competition, but that's about it, really. Okay, level design is quite important. Gameling, action, eh, it's okay. 
Okay. So, well, we got all that. Let's see if we can't... Oh, yes, here we go. Um, what else do I want to put in this game engine? Is that it? I think so. All right. After I make this engine, there's going to be one more game, and then we're going to pop off the video here. Um, uh, let's see. Stella Note. Um, just line of sight that happens to be two of the things on my desktop. <laughs> um, ah, come on. Okay, let's see how they're doing here. Holy crap. Do I want a new office? No. I'll tell you what. I, I will finish out this episode here. And then uh, and when I start the next episode, I'll move to the office when I'm prompted. Um, so. So, because cause see, the reason why I want to stay here is because costs are still lower. Thus, I can still make a little bit more money, have more of a cushion when I do move to that office. And boom, you know? Not, not as good a sales as the other one, but that's okay. New engine. All right, do I have anything else I can research? I can't wait to research sequels. Oh, that's gonna be great. Maybe I could, oh, can I do a new topic real quick? No? Okay, but history, mature, okay. All right, so this one is gonna be mature. History. Um, simulation, maybe? Um, there we go. PC, game engine. Still a note, okay. And what are we gonna call this? History simulation on the PC with the Stella Note engine. Um, one more thing. Um, um, maybe give it like a kind of an ironically cutesy name like um, Peepo Vision. There you go, Peepo Vision. Because why not? Um, if those don't, if you don't know what Peepo is. I suggest look it up, because it could probably explain it better than me. Okay, that's... Oh, better user experience. There we go. Uh, lower the engine just slightly, but not too much. Okay. Okay. Doing all this on my own. Okay, dialogue's not as important. AI level design. Okay, we'll keep it there. Okay. Uh, those seem to be okay. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, a reporter for Planet GG. Oh, yes! Sure. Oh, right! Oh, that's right. I can market things now. Um, large campaign. That's two million. Ooh. Let's do a small one for right now. Bring up the hype! According to the interview, working on its first game targeted at mature players, Gomer, the owner and CEO of Lambic and Lambic, said, We think that players are looking for more mature content in games, and we are willing to take a risk to give it to them. Hell yeah, we are. Sooner or later, games with mature themes will become more common. We're curious to see how the market will react to these games. Oh, the G64 is going to go off the market soon. Oh. Four. Three. Two. One. Now, oh, come on. Thank you. Oh, yeah. 20 design, 21 tech. Two boom, new records, sweet. Okay, that works. Okay, people vision. Nine. Okay. All right. Ten. Oh yeah. My new favorite. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Okay. So one thing, I, I, we may see it in this run. We may not. But if I manage to get tens in like the first three, the fourth one will sometimes go up to 11. <laughs> That's how you know you got a good one. But this one's gonna be great, especially with all the hype around it. Oh God, I'm gonna make a lot of money. Uh, let's generate the game report for this one. 9.75. Oh yeah, oh. Uh, G64, the Go Govador has, has went off the market, it's gone, bye bye. Oh, okay. History and simulation, great. And level design seems to be quite important. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, gotta let this thing run its course, and I'm gonna end the video. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, G64. 
If you're not a fan of Lampic and Lampic now, then chances are you real you will be after playing the latest hit, Peepo Vision. Rare, rarely manages a game to blend the AI so well into the game world that you just feel completely immersed. Only a game with unicorns, rainbows, pirates, and ninjas could possibly be better. Andrew McNara, Game Informant. <laughs> unicorns, rainbows, pirates, and ninjas. So it's basically so a combination of My Little Pony, um, Foxes, Peter Pan, and the Pirates. Wow, that's a that's a that's a that's a, that's, that's a uh, reference back to the past there. And let's see, ninjas, uh, three ninjas. There you go. Okay, I don't know about three ninjas, but you get no Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There you go. And even then, TMNT could potentially do all of those all of all at once anyway. So you know, hey, maybe make a TMNT game involved with a crossover with My Little Pony and Peter Pan. Okay, let's see how this thing does. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I'm not gonna f I'm not gonna let it finish out. I'll, I'll, like I said, next time I do this. It's going to go up, um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Sitting here at 6.6k fans, it's actually a good stopping point because all, all thing is stopped and I'll have to pause it. So, um, next time you see this, we're going to be moving up into the new office and that's going to be fun. We're going to hire people and, and things are going to, things are going to get a little bit more progressively awesome. Uh, new games. And if you, and if you're watching this and you have ideas for like game names or whatever, leave them down below. I mean, I'll, I, I might even use them in the video. <laughs> uh, so that'd be great. So, uh, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like it, hit that like button over there. You let me know that you do like it. And hey, if it's set up the right way, you can also spread the word to other people too. That's awesome. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. You can also leave some comments down below, right down there. And if you want to help these videos more directly, help them pay for themselves and that things like that, go to patreon.com slash gomer 21 double x And if you throw enough money at me, I'll advertise your stuff right here at the end of these videos. So until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian. Signing off.